Hi, and welcome back to the Magento Mechanics training course. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to add a template uh, to the layout. We're going to add our own custom template to uh, Magento. Uh, let's assume, for example, we want to add underneath this um, login page, we want to add some type of a disclaimer. And this is just what we're going to use for the example. So we want to, we could technically go ahead and edit the HTML file, uh, excuse me, the PHTML file for this page and add our content. But let's assume we want to keep it separate. Let's say, you know, it doesn't make sense to include um, more things in one template because it's two separate things and each thing that we have on our page should really be associated with a separate template. So let's see how this, uh, how we can accomplish this. We're going to go ahead and go into our design folder and we want to go into our front end and in our default um, and then actually, excuse me, we're going to go into our base uh, default layout and we want to look at the customer XML, customer.xml. Uh, that's right here. Now we want to change for the customer login page. So if you notice over here, after the index of PHP, there's customer, account, and login. That's what we're going to look for here. If you notice, this handle is associated with that page, and we could add stuff. Now we want to add to the block called content. Content is everything that's inside this area right here. Uh, this, let's say, the area where the logo is might be called the top, and this might be called the footer links, but we want to go to the middle of the page, um, you know, there's also blocks that could be on the side, there's left and right in case there's more than one column. But in this case, we want to go the reference name content. And we want to add underneath um, our login.phtml, we want to add another block, it's called. So we're going to add a block, um, and the type is going to be called um, core template. This allows us not to, we'll learn more about why we need to use these names and what they do. We're going to give it a unique name, we're going to call it disclaimer. And we'll say that the template is located in disclaimer slash um, disk.phtml. Let's uh, close out the block. Now, when we reload the page, nothing is going to happen yet because we haven't added the template file. There's no errors, but it hasn't, it hasn't been able to find a template file. And so therefore, it won't add it. So let's go and add this template file. Let's add it to our custom theme. Um, really this layout, what we just did right here, should be done also in our custom theme. And we'll learn how to do that in future lessons, but right now we're focusing on how to add templates. So now, we're going to go into our default, um, default package, and in there our new age theme. And here's our templates. We, we added the persistent folder because we were changing something. We're going to add another folder that we're just going to make right now called disclaimer. And essentially what we have over here is that it's going to look for a file called disclaimer, this, this.phtml. It's going to look into our theme and try to find in the template folder a folder called disclaimer, which we just made. And now we're going to make a file called disk.phtml. And in here we're going to make a div class disclaimer. And we're going to add, let's say, an h3, uh, let's say disclaimer. Then we'll make a p tag, and we'll say we are not responsible and we've, we're going to save it and now let's refresh the page. As you can see, we right now have this disclaimer, we're not responsible, blah, blah, blah. And um, we can add anything we want in this thing, and we don't have to worry about messing with any other template. This is a really easy way of adding our own little block, our own little section that has just some HTML in it, or you can add some JavaScript in there if you want. And you can this way we can keep it independent from anything else. Um, in future lessons, we're going to learn how to connect this template to actual functionality on the page, how to connect it back to our Magento system. I hope you'll enjoy this lesson, and we hope to see you back soon.